Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also please don't forget to press the bell icon. The royal family is gearing up for some major changes now that Prince Charles has morphed into King Charles, and apparently his desire for a slimmed-down monarchy could result in Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie losing their titles. Royal expert Marlene Koenig told The Express, Yes, there will be a change, and it could include downgrading Beatrice and Eugenie to the style of daughters of a duke. Koenig added that Charles will indeed make it more restrictive, but it will have to do first and foremost with the gender equal succession, which most people forget about. So, what are the alternative titles for former princes and princesses? Simply Lord and Lady. Meaning, if Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie do get downgraded, they'll likely still have fancy monikers. This was done in the 1917 letters patent for the great-grandchildren in the male line, which is why the present Duke of Gloucester and the present Duke of Kent, who are grandsons in the male line, are the last to have the HRH and Prince as their children are not royal. The Earls are styled as the Earl of Ulster and Earl of Street Andrews. Thus, George V started this. Charles will indeed make it more restrictive, but it will have to do first and foremost with the gender equal succession, which most people forget about. The letters patent issued by King George V limited the HRH styling and titles of Prince and Princess only to the children of the Sovereign, the grandchildren of the Sovereign in the male line, and the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales. This meant that had Queen Elizabeth not slightly modified this convention in 2012, Prince George would have been the only child of Prince William and Kate to be entitled to an HRH style and title of Prince. The late Queen's move, however, extended the honors to all the children of the now Prince and Princess of Wales, but stopped short of granting titles to the children of Charles' younger son, Prince Harry. Archie Harrison and Lilibet, Lily, Diana became eligible for their HRH and titles when King Charles acceded to the throne on September 8. However, no announcement on whether this will be formalized has been made yet. Speculation on whether the new king will cull the number of title holders in the royal family or will cut the number of working royals started swirling after Queen Margaret, the Danish head of state, announced on Wednesday she was stripping four of her grandchildren of their titles. Those affected are the three sons and one daughter of the queen's younger son, Prince Joachim, who on Thursday said in an interview with Danish news outlet Extra Bladet, it's never fun to see your children being harmed. They are been put in a situation they do not understand. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think we will see some major changes in the future monarchy? And do you guys think Sussex's got any hope to be the part of future monarchy? Write down in the comments below and let me know what you think about it. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. Thank you so much.